a Milwaukee screwdriver. And I've got a few of these, actually. I keep one in my tool bag, one in the house, one in the van. And there are several different variations of this type. And this one I like because it has a ratchet on it. It has a forwards and reversing ratchet. And there are some ones that are stationary. There are ones that come with different bits, like a torque set. And this one is a uh, multiple set. It has, I think, two Phillips. Yeah, two Phillips, two flat, and the ordinary um, Robertson. And of course, any of your other screwdriver bits fit into it. So it's very handy. They also make a stubby. I believe I have the stubby in the ratchet as well. And it replaces a whole bunch of different screwdrivers in certain applications. I've had uh, different ones like this in the past that were just cheap. They'd have funny um, non-standard bit tips. They would store all the bits in the back. They were crappy plastic. Had to unscrew that little bit. But this is a real screwdriver. This is like solid. I mean, you can tap on it if you need to. You can put some force on it. Those are nice. It's got a magnet in there to hold them in. Really well made. And again, it's got that, uh, you can set it for stationary in the middle. And it's just a stationary screwdriver. And then you can do the forwards and reverse ratcheting effect. So I've had a few different ones of these. I've just picked up another one from my house because it's just so versatile. It's got so many bits in it. And ordinarily, I wouldn't like something like this. It's a little bit Mickey Mouse for me, but... Um, you know, Milwaukee's done it well. They've taken the idea that a lot of other companies have. And of course, they did it well, as they always do. I'm very impressed with this. And highly recommend, if you only, if you only ever buy one screwdriver, this one would probably do the trick. And then you'd just add more bits if you wanted to, buy one of their bit sets. You'd be good to go. I don't think you have to use the, um, the longer ones. Like this is a, you know, medium type bit. But if you had a regular size one, I think it would fit in there too. Let's see. This is a nut driver, just happens to be. That fits in too. And it's got the magnet, so it's not gonna go anywhere. The Milwaukee 48-22 2322. Like it a lot, highly recommend it. Here I'm going to be replacing the batteries in an electronic door lock, a keyless deadbolt. You can see how quickly that turns that screw out using that ratchet. Now I'm going to need a flat screwdriver to get those batteries out. So I'll just pull that one out from the handle. So it's pretty easy to slide the bits out just using the other bit to oppose it. And they store easily in the handle. And I'll just set it to stationary so it doesn't flip around in the ratcheting setting while I'm trying to get those batteries out. Flip out the batteries, no problem. Put that bit back in. Switch it to my Phillips. Turn it to ratchet. The, my new batteries are in. I can get those screws in. And such a great tool for an application like this, we need to switch back and forth. You don't necessarily have all those screwdrivers with you.